Hi everyone, nice you're watching and in this video it will be a bit differently as usual because I will be chatting about this book, the Dina Wakely, which isn't in production anymore. So I had to find some alternatives. I had a lot of questions uh, from you. What is the book that you are working in? It's brilliant, it's looking wonderful. And some people ask me if I create the books myself. No, myself, no, this is this book. But unfortunately, it's not available anymore. It's not in production anymore. So there are some options you could think about. And this video will be all about that. I have some suggestions for alternatives and also I have some suggestions for creating a book yourself. You will see that at the end of the video. If this video really helps you, please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss one of the next videos in which I will be creating with you again, giving you short tutorials giving you uh, background information, a little glimpse of my studio and so on. So make sure you'll be there again. And if you have any suggestions for alternative books, please let me know in the comments. I think it will be very helpful for a lot of people if you share what you know. So this book is the first one I started with and this was really my invitation to even get started with art journaling in the first place. I started in 2021 and this is one of the books I started with and I couldn't stop working. I had no intention to do art journaling at all. I was working on canvas and wood and always had loose projects. But working in a book was quite new to me and when I started i was really hooked on this and i wanted to go on it was a very easy way to keep my art going so this was a wonderful way for me to express myself and to, well to keep my art yeah going like i said so this book contains the craft paper the watercolor paper which is very good quality burlap paper and the canvas so it has four, uh, 54 pages so if you look at this book from above uh, you see it contains four parts four segments and it's all built up from here to there and then it's starting all over again so you start with the craft then this one, this one, so it has the same order in the next part. And it's one big page that's folded and it's binded. And you can see that here in the middle of the, here you can see it. It's, uh, it's soon and uh, yeah, I really love that way. And I already know the order when I'm in a book, I know Behind this book there will be uh, a canvas page and then there will be burlap and then there will be craft again and so on. So I really love that aspect from knowing which page you have. But as I said, there are no books containing different kinds of paper. Also, it's very hard to find a book that is the same thickness as this one. Of course, the books will get thicker the longer you work in it. So this is a book, it's the same amount of pages, but it's uh, a bit smaller. That's the other size, which isn't available anymore too. Uh, but you see when, when you finish a book, it's quite thicker. So, well, that's one of the downsides of this book. It's almost always getting broken at the end of your working process. So let's get started with showing you my recommendations for the books. This was a book that someone in my studio who visits the studio, studio weekly uh, took with her and I found it a really uh, great option. It's not too thick, but that's because of the 
thickness of the pages. It's the Strathmore Mixed Media and it's containing 64 pages and it's 190 grams. And it's, I think it's A4 size or a bit smaller. So that's uh, 21.6 by 27.9 centimeters. And in inches, that is um, 8.5 by 11 inch. So I find this is a good option. The paper is mixed media, so it must hold the acrylic paint. I don't know what's going to happen with the pages. If they cling to another, I don't know yet, um, but it feels quite steady. And I selected all these books on binding. It's soon, so you can see it. Uh, it has different segments as well. So it's built up from larger pages that are folded. So I think this will be a great option to work in. The cover looks nice. It's a bit more glossy than the Dino Wakely uh, book, but I think it will be a fine alternative to work in. Then we have also a soft cover of that. It's a bit smaller, so it's containing the same amount of pages and it has the same paper in it. You see, uh, although it's binded, uh, it's a bit harder to... Uh, open the pages properly but i think when you work when you work on in this a little longer that will work out fine too so this is ideal for when you travel or when you take the book with you when you when you will work outside or have a small project and you simply want to take this one in your bag it's flexible so it's nice. The, the cover, it feels a bit like rubber or something. Um, it feels very soft. So that's nice. And this size is 24.8 by 90.7. So in inches, that is 9.75 by 7.75. So, well, I think these ones are just good to work in. Then I found this one. By the way, I ordered these books from my home money. It's no sponsoring at all. So I just wanted to check it out for you and for myself to find out which books will be great to work in instead of the Dina Wakely. This is from the Ohuhu and it's containing 78 pages. And what I found great is that it's approaching, well, kind of the same thickness is the Dina Wakely journal. I will put it next to it so you can see it. But you have to keep in mind, it's the same thickness almost, but you have to keep in mind that this one contains more pages. So this one has um, 54 and this one is 78. So it's really for a long term and the paper really looks nice. The Paper is 200 grams, so that's uh, thicker than a, a bit thicker than the Stratmore, and it's mixed media paper, so it must hold everything. The um, cover looks also very nice with a kind of texture in it. Yeah, and I think it has a ribbon here. That's an extra thing, and it also has um, elastic band to. Close the book. I don't know what's going to happen when you work on it a longer time, but maybe this keeps it together. On the other hand, it can also break the spine of the book. So I don't know how that would work out, but I really look forward to work in this book. I must mention that most of the books has, have different sizes, uh, options you can choose from. I, I choose the one that seemed interesting, interesting for me to work in and, and so for you. Uh, not the smaller ones because, well, I don't work in very small books. And, and that has, well, a bit of the same size as the Dina Wakely books. So I really love this book.
The next one is the one from Claire Fontaine. It's produced in France. So that's a good thing, uh, for at least for us, we live in Europe, so this is produced nearby. And often I don't see where it's uh, created, where it's produced, so this is a good thing. It looks very special with the uh, luxurious uh, linen cover. And I was wondering when I opened the book, why is it not symmetric this side is shorter than that one but that's because of this little loop to put a pencil in so it's easy go for when you are traveling and this is just the starting page this is a quite thinner page than the rest it's just a, the start of the book so i think you don't begin at this page but you just start with this one as the first page it's 180 grams paper and it's watercolor paper it has mm, a bit of a texture but not on the front but on the back it has a little uh, structure structure but here it's flat and i think this is a great book to work in another extra thing this book has rounded corners and it's um having also uh an elastic band to close it it has just th uh, 32 pages and that means that this book will be great to work in when you have a smaller project and what i really adore of this book they have it in rectangle sizes as well but i really love the square pages of it it gives you really a nice uh, place to for compositions in square or do it on both uh, pages one spread and what I also uh, love from this book is that it's well you can turn the pages flat you can easily work on it and, and the page just continues so you don't have this this middle part where paint gets stuck in and I really love that so it's 30 by 30 centimeters so it's the the long side of an A4 approximately and the final one that I'm about to show you is the Indigo Artways Journal. And that one I found very interesting because it has an indigo cover with linen and it has a broad elastic band to close it. It has just 20 pages and it's having these wonderful handmade sketchbook paper or watercolor paper in it which is 200 grams so that's the thickest paper i could find and it's well each page is handmade so it's different and uh, this is different so some other pages will shine through but i think this is a wonderful book to work in especially when you have a small project or you want to do something with panorama landscapes or just want to have small portraits in square in in square shapes and and you have to well i think this is really a great book and i look forward to work in it possibly this one isn't available all around the world so Please check it out in your art store or Amazon. I put some links below in the video so you can find out if this one is available in your country. And this one was the largest one I could find, um, but they have smaller sizes of this one too. So I really love this panoramic landscape book. Oh, and what I haven't told, beside the wonderful logo, uh, you have also a little red ribbon inside. Oh, I have to lose this one up. This one, it's quite short, I think, but it's really wonderful. And there are some other books who have that. I think this one has also a ribbon inside no this one hasn't got a ribbon inside but i think this one has it yeah 
Uh, this one has it. So there are two, two books with ribbon inside. And of course it depends on your way of working and what your well, what you really, what you like to do on in size and in amount of paper. All the books, the five books that I just mentioned, are soon, so they are built up from a double, uh, well, a fold page. This one is a very nice one. It is um, watercolor paper. It has round edges, and I bought it at the action. But this one is glued, so I wouldn't recommend this book uh, because the pages fall off quite easily. And well, I think when you're on a budget, still wait till you have more money and buy well a more a, a book with more quality than this one. Although the paper is nice to work on, I think you could go for a better option. Then I have this one with a spiral, and this is from Talens Amsterdam. They don't have this exact um, item anymore, but they have something similar. Uh, the paper is okay. I don't know the, the thickness of it, but it's good for sketching. Um, for painting, well, some pages are clinging together. And what I found really uh, frustrating is that spiral that is in the middle. So you can't continue your page. So, or you have to go with a brush over the, over the spiral. And well, it really didn't work out here. So there's always a white spot in the middle and I don't like that. The other thing what happens is when you take this book with you in your bag or you travel often, I think it's even a travel journal. Uh, this this get, gets broken easily and, uh, or well, you see it already here. And sometimes even the binding system, it's here, I think, here. Sometimes this is getting broken and then all your pages fall off. So this is for me not a nice option, but if you don't mind and you work page by page and not in a spread, this could be an option for you two. I think there's no other book that is the same as this one and the only way you can approach that result is to make your own book. I can imagine you are hesitant to make your own book, bind your own book and I think many people think it's well, you, you, you must do that very precisely and I think you don't have to do that. Um, maybe when you sell books to other people, but when you make books for yourself, you can allow yourself to make mistakes and just try it out and look if you can find the paper you want to and look at some tutorials on YouTube or whatever. I am experiencing binding my own books uh, so far just making some mini books, but in the future I am willing to try to make my own art book. I really look forward to that, but also I created already some books myself and these are my mini books that I've been creating. And I showed them in videos, so I will put that links in the video as well. And they are very easy and you can just, well, put some papers and cut them or tear them, tear them in, in the size you want. And then you can create and sew your own mini book. It's very easy to do and I really love that here. You can see the sewing and these are the books that I haven't seen yet. So they're just lose. I do the sewing in the end because then everything is dry and then uh, the, the pages uh, don't cling together. So it's really nice thing to do and it's giving a lot of inspiration. So I want to try this on larger scale with maybe with some pages that are also in the Dina Wakely book. Um, here's another one with the portraits. Um, I showed that one already. But yeah, that will be future projects. 
And of course, I'm very curious what these books will learn me and what are my experience, experiences with that. I really, well, look forward and maybe I look forward to work in the square one because that's something totally different. But that will take me some time. Because at the moment I'm working in three art journals at the same time. I still have my France art journal from this summer. It, it's almost finished, so I have to complete that. And of course, I will show you that in one of my next videos. Then I have the book of portraits, which I already show in some flip throughs as well. So that one isn't finished, but it's well, quite coming to the end. I think I still have a quarter to go. Then I started a new art journal just before we went to France. So I think I am, well, I, I just have six pages or so. So that will be something to work in, uh, in my weekly art journal sessions with my students. Uh, so you will see more of this one first before I will be starting with a new one. Although I'm really looking forward, um, but I don't like starting in all, well, maybe in 10 journals at the same time. I, I don't feel like I don't want, I want to do that because then maybe I turn back to an art journal, well, over a year or something. And then I think, well, I want to see my process. I want to see something as, well, a little diary which shows me where I'm at at a particular moment and uh, what were my the things that I found interesting the colors so that changes very very much so I don't maybe I will do a theme on a book and then I can work on it for a longer time like the portraits but I don't think I will start a new art journal um, in the upcoming year so that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and of course, please let me know in the comments if you have any experiences with the mentioned art journals or if you have tips for people who want to buy an art journal or want to do bookbinding. All your suggestions are more than welcome. And the next time, of course, we will go back to France or I will show you some results of the studio lessons. Please turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a thing and I see you next time. Bye bye.